Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Andrew and chances are you got recreation as your role for the Disney College program. So I did recreation for about a year on my CP. Um, I was fall 2021 into spring of 2022. Um, so August to August. And when I started out in recreation, I was over at Fort Wilderness and Wilderness Lodge. And then about a month into my CP, I was pulled over to Contemporary Grand Floridian and the Polynesian. So recreation, um, for right now, it's a lot of pool monitor. So that means you're going around taking care of the pools. Um, so like straightening chairs, if the pool decks have um, towels, you'll kind of collect dirty towels that are just kind of laying around the pool deck, put them in the towel returns. Um, also like picking up garbage, straightening chairs, stuff like that. Um, so at Fort Wilderness and Wilderness Lodge, that's kind of what I did. So at Fort, um, they didn't have towels. So since it's the campground, it was kind of expected that everyone brought their own. Um, so we did have a few guests who were upset that we did not provide towels, but they are staying at the campground. So they kind of assume that the guests will bring towels either from their RVs, from their cabins, something like that. So at Fort Wilderness, you weren't really responsible for picking up towels because those were all the towels um, that people brought themselves. Um, but over at Fort, we would um, straighten all the chairs, walk around um, at all of the pools I worked at. Um, we checked on the lifeguards, making sure that they had enough water, that they were staying hydrated, that kind of thing. Um, at Fort Wilderness, I was also trained in the bike barn. So over there, uh, you will be taught how to run their cashier system, um, different price points of everything. And over there, we'd rent out kayaks, canoes, bikes. Um, they also had sports equipment that you could check out. Um, and then you could also pay for gem mining over there as well. Um, don't remember the hours off the top of my head, but usually over there was like an opener and a closer. It wasn't too hard of a shift. Um, at the beginning, it was a little more intimidating, just kind of being like on my own, but there were coordinators um, really close by who were always willing to help. Um, there's always other cast who was willing to help as well. Um, so that's kind of what I did at Fort. At Lodge, what I had to do was over there, they did have towels that they provided to the guests. So, you know, you did have to walk around, pick up the towels, put them in the towel return, um, pick up garbage, straighten chairs, fix umbrellas, that sort of thing. Um, but then over there as well, the pool monitor was responsible for going and checking in on the arcade, um, making sure that everything was wiped down and clean. Um, that kind of thing. That's really all that I had to do in the arcade over there was just kind of go in there every hour or so and wipe everything down. Um, and then we would also have to go and check on the fitness center, um, roll towels for there, make sure all the machines were clean, that sort of thing. Um, and then go and check the other pool deck. So another thing on the pool deck that you would have to check is to make sure that the life jackets are all um, buckle to all their buckles um, fit together and then just make sure that the life jackets like aren't torn or anything like that and then um, they'd usually have us arrange them in size order um, so usually like the smallest ones on the like top row and then they'd go down from there um, and then infant ones were usually hung like on the side of the um, life jacket rack so that's kind of all that I did at Fort Wilderness and Wilderness Lodge. Um, now at the other three resorts, so Contemporary, Grand Floridian, and Polynesian, it was there was a lot more to do there. Um, so as of right now, Polly has, I guess, the least to do. Um, so again, you're going around setting up uh, the chairs, um, doing towels, just checking for garbage in general. And they do have like garbage pickers that you can use. Um, there's like a handle that you 
squeeze and then there's like little um, pinchers up at the front so you can just grab the garbage so you don't have to touch it um, or they do have gloves um, but you do all that and then they have patios over there that you would set up so um, your trainer or coordinator will show you how to set up the patios and premium seating where all the snacks and drinks are for the guests um, and that sort of thing and then so you're really just bouncing back and forth between the two pools at the Polynesian um, you'd go to the main pool make sure that the lifeguards are well hydrated um, in the aquatic play area we do get signed off for that so if you are you know a recreation host then you could potentially step in for the lifeguard if they need to use a restroom or if they're down a lifeguard sometimes they will pull a pool monitor to go and watch the aquatic play area for the day um, so there's quite a bit more that you do at the Polynesian compared to Fort Wilderness and Wilderness Lodge pool side wise um, and then for Grand Floridian and Contemporary, um, you do pretty much the same thing, picking up towels, garbage, straightening chairs, um, but at those two you are shown how to set up the cabanas, and then you are also a cabana attendant, so you kind of go up to the guests, check them in, um, make sure their last name is spelled right, um, if they need anything you assist them, um, that kind of thing. It's pretty straightforward. Um, I never really had any issues with guests doing when I was doing all of that. Um, but at Grand Floridian and Contemporary right now, both of their marinas are open, which that's that also falls under recreation. Um, so all the uh, hosts and hostesses would get trained to do the marina so you learn how to um, send people out on pontoon boats because uh, that's the only boats that they have as of right now when I'm filming this uh, they only have the pontoon boats so you learn how to spiel to the guests on the boats um, how to tie off the boats how to check the boats all that kind of thing um, and then you do also get trained in the cashier window um, so that you can charge the guests accordingly um, and for those, you can uh, send the guests out on Bay Lake and Seven Seas Lagoon. Um, the two lakes are connected kind of by like a little water bridge. It's like a little um, channel that uh, the boats can drive over a road and it connects the two lakes. Um, so those shifts were always fun. Um, those shifts were never like super long. Um, I'd get there at like 10 10 30 leave around 5 5 30 so it wasn't ever super long um if you're in at 10 you were out at 5 30 if you're there at 10 30 you're out around six so like super easy hours um but then something else that i was actually trained how to do was firework cruises so um i'm not really sure what their policy is now um but you were first trained on poolside, at least at Contemporary and Grand Floridian Polynesian. You were trained on poolside first, and then you were trained in marina. Um, if they really liked you in the marina, and you had a good work ethic, and you could be trusted with guests and all this other stuff, um, they would sometimes train you to do firework cruises. So with these firework cruises, you would be trained how to drive a boat, um, Disney would pay for your boater's license and then you would get a group of guests um, at least at my locations when I was doing it um, we'd get little cruise slips that had your boat number your family's name and then um, how many guests were in the party um, sometimes it said how many adults and kids um, sometimes they were wrong just kind of go with it and um, so you would have up to 10 guests on your boat and it's just you and your guests and you talk to them entertain them for a little bit you give them a tour of both of the lakes um you go and watch the electrical water pageant at some point and then you go and watch the fireworks um and then after fireworks are done you take them back to your marina um and kind of say your farewells break down your boat and then you get to go home um so those shifts were a little bit later um they tended to be shorter shifts as well so 
The typical cruise shift was about four hours, but for CPs, since we had to get the full 30 hours, they kind of extended us a little bit. So we'd come in at like 4.30 and leave at 10.30, um, or we'd come in at 5.30, leave at 11.30. It really just depended on when fireworks were, um, how many hours you needed, that sort of thing. Um, I really enjoyed my time in rec. Um, I do miss it quite a bit but I do like my new location a lot. Um, but yeah, if you get rec, um, it's a lot of fun. Um, it's, in my opinion, one of the more easy laid back jobs. Um, definitely don't go in thinking, oh, I just get to sit around, because there is a lot that you have to do. Um, and the more you like do, and the more you're on top of everything, the more like freedom you get. Um, so, you know, I was super on top of everything. I was always bugging my coordinators and uh, leaders, like seeing if they needed help with anything, which usually they always had some sort of little project that needed to be done. Um, so I got to help them a lot with all that stuff and kind of, you know, made a name for myself a little bit, but it was really, really fun. Um, I do miss it. You get a like really nice costume um it's pretty much like swim trunks and a polo shirt so like it's not super hot um i mean outside it will be hot but like your costume itself like it, it does a pretty good job at like keeping you at least semi cool um and then you know you can drink as much water as you need um what I really liked about recreation is we could kind of use the restroom whenever we needed to. Um, so I know like in the parks you have to like ask to go to have someone, you know, cover you while you go to the restroom. Um, where we could just kind of be like, hey, I'll be back in three minutes and just kind of go. Um, but yeah, if you got rec, you're going to have so much fun. Not a lot of people get rec. So um, consider yourself a very rare CP. Um... When I went, um, there were eight of us who were pulled from Wilderness, and we we're the only eight at Wilderness um, in blue shorts. So lifeguards are pretty much our same costume, except they have red. So they're red, we're blue, and then children's activities also kind of falls under the recreation umbrella. Um, but this is specifically the recreation host and hostess position. Um, so they pulled the eight of us over, and then I think in, in total there were less than 20 of us for the entire region. So like there's there's not that many. Um, when you think about the thousands of people who are, you know, put in these different positions, I think property-wide there might be 100 CPs who are recreation hosts and hostesses. But... Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any more questions, um, feel free to leave them down in the comments. Um, feel free to follow me on Instagram. Um, send any of your questions that way. Um, but yeah, I hope you have the best time on your CP. And if you see me in the parks, feel free to say hi. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!